don't want to talk I about. I do. It. I want to tell people it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. It was cool. Yeah, I went to. It was a a Woody Allen movie. You were doing a Woody I saw, Allen yeah, movie. I booked a Woody Allen movie. Congratulations! Oh, yeah, He's doing those in China now. Well, this film he takes his, place in China. He had his European period. Yes. Yeah. Well, no. Okay. Paris. Let's see. He had his American period. Right. We all yes. know Annie Hall, for sure. instance. Okay. In my opinion, that's when he started to become a little bit of, more of a serious filmmaker. Mm. You know, maybe it's just me, but for me, that's where he sort of put well, a, like banana, aside. Yeah. Bananas, you know, the kind sleeper. of broad comedy, mm. and he just delved into more personal themes. Definitely. Maybe that's. I mean, that might be right. just me, but. So well, then he uh, went to England and he did some Match some Point. films, Match Point. Yeah, and maybe it's just me, but for me, he really kind of reinvigorated himself uh, as a filmmaker. Then, sure, he'd mm-hmm. been getting into a little yeah. bit of a rut, but you know, in my opinion, just my my personal opinion, he just sort of sparked into something that was a, a, a new kind of. And then he went over to Europe, you know. Yeah, Vicky did. Barcelona, Vicky Barcelona, Forget Paris. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Uh, a couple other great movies, mm-hmm. uh, the Rome, uh, the pizza, uh, Rome Down Under, out, Down Under in Rome. No, no, that's Quigley Down Under. No, is that no, one of his? Pizza movie? But this is um, this is his first movie in China. It's a complete. It was a completely new experience for him and and me. I'd never been there, and it was a small part, but they wanted everybody there for the whole shoot. Oh, I understand that. So, so you've done a Woody. That's yeah. that's so that's every actor's dream. It's called Ching Chong Matinee, and uh, it's I don't know when it's going to come out. Probably in the fall. Ching Chong. Ching Chong Matinee. Matinee. With uh, Howie Mandel, Tony Roberts, um, Jackie Chan, Jennifer Aniston, Jason Alexander, uh, and myself. Tony Roberts is back in, in Woody Allen. That, that's big news. Too. Yeah. It's cool. It's like, it's, uh, it's B&W, it's silent, it's... Um, cause B- he, B&W, oh, black and white. Yeah, because he um, kind of, he was at the, Woody told me the story, he was at the Oscars. Um, and saw the the artists like for the first time at the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> did they they, play, well, I mean, after they watch, played it after no, I mean, the Oscars? He, did, he had saw the clip at the Oscars. Oh, was, a lot of people don't away. know that you know right after the Oscars they, they play the best picture. Yeah, they have a screening. Just of so uh, yeah, yeah. The the camera the TV can't show it because they don't have the licensing rights. For sure. That. Anyways, he was kind of blown away by the way that looked and the whole style. So well, it was said, black and white, and it was silent. A, yeah. So he wrote this script about um, a bunch of Chinese people that do a opera in um, based on the Kung Fu Panda, the, the, the cartoon, <laughs> the cartoon movie, the DreamWorks. Yeah. Kung Fu Panda. Uh huh. So they do they they do an opera based on that movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's silent. The movie is silent. Right. Yeah. So why? Okay. No. So it's it's just all of you, all of the actors, open their mouths and pretend you're singing and and yeah. what uh, and it was like you know he's always kind of pushing boundaries and mm. um, we all were made up to look like Chinese people. Hmm. Okay. So, but j- now Jackie Chan does he play the panda then? Because I would imagine he doesn't need the the makeup. You know, he plays um, the president. He plays um, President Clinton, who comes to. <laughs> What's this now? You're getting emotional. I <laughs> jet lag. And it's like... Yeah, no, we'll get you that coffee. Don't yeah. worry. But so he plays he plays President Clinton, who uh, yeah c- comes to the to the aid of the panda. I would imagine. No, he's going to uh, the premiere of the opera. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So Jason it's not Alexander. it's not it's Jason that... Alexander is like the, the like the Woody character in the in the movie. Got it. You know, got so it. he's like the main actor in the opera. So it's and he's got like very neurotic and mm. uh, falls in love with Jennifer Aniston, who plays the 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 female lead. Right, right. But the female lead in the Kung Fu Panda opera. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I play just a stagehand. I'm I'm like I have no lines. Well, nobody has any real lines, but yeah. I'm just I'm on screen for like four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah. What if you don't have any lines? What are you doing on screen for four minutes? I'm, That's the, a long time, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, throughout the whole film, like there's four oh. four moments where I come out, four or five moments where I come out and move scenery around. Oh, okay. Are you, and I give like some looks, like sort of like classic comedy, like double takes and stuff. Okay. What's going on? On I mean, can you spoil it? What's going no, on? I should. On? I probably shouldn't. I mean, and it's like Woody keeps things so segregated. So like, I don't know what anybody else is doing really. Mm-hmm. Like, we, there's a lot of innuendo and a lot of rumor going around. About what's going on, but right. it was fantastic, and it was like two hours, like three or four hours of makeup, like getting it on and getting it off every day. What for? You're just playing a stagehand. I'm, I was playing Chinese. Chinese. Oh, uh, Chinese stagehand. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they have the prosthetic eyes and the and what else? Skin coloring. 
and the hair and the wig and everything is all very yeah. Is that, I mean, you wouldn't you're not even going to recognize me. I look completely different, like a like a real Chinese man. Gosh, that's uh, I guess that's exciting. I don't know that Reggie. What do you think about this? Have you? Uh, I think it sounds. Uh, I mean, I really enjoyed Tango in Paris, and I, I think that it's last Tango in Paris. Yeah, that was a good Woody. I love Woody's. Well, yeah, I mean, he has not. He has yet to make a, a bad movie. You know, they're, they've all been good. His so. track record. He's a hundred percent. Yeah. He's so. he's like, he's but, like a track um, team that wins every match. That's how good his track record is. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, yeah. Are you reading then, from a press release? Um. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. What's a, why did you pull out a, a piece of paper as you started saying that? Um, because from it. Woody, the last thing he said to me, he drove. He, he, we all sort of took the same flight back, and we were getting dropped off in the super shuttle. And he said, "Make sure if you're going to do any podcast today, make sure you just say whatever I just said, which was have a great. I had a great time. It was a great experience. So it was a lot he of it, a lot of the cast are doing podcasts. That's generally what happens when you come back from an overseas shoot. Sort of as a standard, <laughs> you just leap right into podcast standard operating procedures. You just SOP. Yeah." What um, could, maybe I could get a Jason Alexander on the show, or Howie, or even oh, Jackie. Oh man, wait! Do you see Howie Mandel in this movie? He is mm. unbelievable. He plays the panda. Oh, he's the and, panda. Yeah, in the but he's a panda in the opera. What does he play in the behind the scenes? Well, that's the thing. It's a little bit like um, uh, it's like what goes on behind the scenes of a of a Chinese opera. Okay, in Beijing, and it's unbelievable. The food and the and the, the people and the. <laughs> The food is a big a big part of this. Yeah, it becomes like uh, that movie Big Night. You know the. Uh, yeah, about the the dinner that. that yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Stanley that. Tucci. Yeah, um, touchy. It becomes all about the food, the Chinese food. And okay, Woody, and because so Woody became obsessed with Chinese food, he loves New York Chinese food, of course, Chinatown. Sure. So that's you'd have that on Christmas a lot. I, yeah, I bet. yeah. And every night after a shoot, we'd go back and he'd or, he'd order takeout and we'd watch Bob Hope movies and mm. just. Have so much fun just talking about the great the great work we did that day. So so it sounds like the the plot got derailed somewhat just by his love of Chinese movie or Chinese food rather he it just got derailed to where the, the yeah, how, well, anybody, how much of the movie is about Chinese food. That's the thing is he if you know anything about Woody is like sort of there's a script and there's an idea but that he's so willing to let things go wherever they go. So right. if you know Annie Hall this was cl- the classic story that that was not. What the movie was supposed to be about, right? I remember that Diane became... Keaton. She walked into a scene and she just riffed, "My mm-hmm. name is Annie Hall," right? And right. he said, "We got something. We got something here." Yeah. So that's what it became. And I think after a couple of days of shooting with this opera and the silent stuff, and yeah. and Woody and the producers, Chinese producers, were kind of like, "What is this? This isn't working." So then it became about improv. It became about or- take out Chinese. And Jason yeah. is such a great improviser, and he, he is. He He's one of the, the best. He could do the Woody things. So he'd be like, you know, he'd be riffing on Woody, Woody isms, as we say on mm-hmm. the set, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, this Chinese food is worse than, than Auschwitz, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. And everybody yeah. would be screaming. What would Woody do when he would riff stuff like that? Would he he'd laugh? He'd scream. Or? He'd be like, this is the best. This is the best. <laughs> would experience. he like high five anyone? Or. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he just would start running around screaming. Like, he brought one, one was funny. Um, one day it was funny. I can't remember what Jason was. He was very tired and he was hmm. pit. He was actually pissed. Oh, Jason was? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and uh, he said, Jesus. And Woody said, thought he was hurt himself in his headphones. Right. He thought he, and he started screaming and, and just was jumping up and down. <laughs> we were all laughing. That's a funny story. <laughs> That's a great story. <laughs> That's a real. That's one of the best stories I think I've heard. One of the best show business stories I think I've heard, at the very least. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. You have to be there, of course, but you know, not really. Jason, no, the way that you, the way that you told it, to it hear really... Jason just go, Jesus, and you know, what do you go, whoa, and freaks. Yeah, and his headphones come because he wears the headphones oh, for, as that, a director and everything. Yeah, yeah. monitor sound. Yeah, and he just starts running around. He ran right out into the street. Right out yeah. into the Chinese streets, <laughs> yeah. wow. and he when said, the- "I'm home." He goes, "I'm home." <laughs> is he mo- is he moving there? Who knows? But he came back though and dropped you all off in the the super shuttle. Yeah, well, driver did, and he was in there. He was in there, yeah, yeah. So because if you fly from China to New York, there's a stopover in L.A., and you have to transfer from LAX to Burbank. 
Oh, and the super shuttle takes you to Burbank, and okay. then the, then you I didn't carry know that. on. Yeah, I, I'm not really a world traveler, so I don't know these things. But I'm sure a lot of our listeners know what you're talking about. Anyways, it was a cool experience. I just can't wait to see my name in alphabetical order. You know, oh. amongst the amongst from the, the classics, the T or the H? Which from the H? Yeah, the H. Oh, I guess it'll so be well, it'll be Aniston, oh, Alexander, Aniston, uh-huh. Chan, Mandel, Tony, Roberts. I'm sorry, I'll be in there you'd somewhere. Be, I'll be yeah, after you'd Chan. Be before, yeah, yeah, after be, Chan. Oh, my God. My name is going to be right next to Tony Roberts. Whoa. <laughs> I just also realized that. Next to Chan, I guess. Yeah. Sort of sandwiched in between. Yeah. I love it. That's amazing. So, and so no lines, though. Nobody had lines. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't. Yeah. Right. Nobody but no one even lines. mouths lines? No. It's all like reactions and looks and singing, but not singing, sort of like just like implying so, that you're singing. Uh, so like just when people were just about to mm-hmm. open their mouth, it would cut away? Is, Is that it subtitled? No. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen. I mean, he's just, we just finished shooting. I don't know what he's going to do. I'm sure he's going to reshoot, you know? Maybe add some actual dialogue in there? I don't know. I think that's kind of what he's processed. He's like, let's just shoot, shot for a month. What I'm wondering is 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 Jason Alexander would was doing Woody lines, mm-hmm. and Woody was very excited by them, but they're not they're not in the movie. No, this is all off camera stuff. This is all clowning around at lunch. Okay, because because uh. Jason took a bite of this like very hot, spicy General Tso's chicken, and was like, mm-hmm. Jesus. Right, because he's so in character. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. As, a, as a goof. Or something. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. no, just because he's so in character, oh, not oh. as a goof. <laughs> Sorry, and, sorry. Yeah, there's a big difference. I'm sorry about Reggie. That's okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. Big difference, but and Woody yeah. just freaked. Wow. When's the movie come out? Like I said, fall. Fall. Yeah. This this fall? Uh, this fall. Yeah, this is – it's officially called – you know, the press is calling it, which I shouldn't have said the name, but the press is calling it like Woody's fall film. I think, okay, but the real name is – Ching Chong Matinee. Ching Chong Matinee. And this takes place during a matinee of the opera? Uh, that's never established. <laughs> okay. So Q3. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Q3. So that's good. You know, things are good. I'm... um...